Hi students, from my previous video, you have obtained how to divide a polynomial by another polynomial. After long division, we will get the quotient and remainder. If the remainder is 0, then the divisor is a factor of the dividend. Today I am going to explain how to find the remainder without doing long division. That is the remainder theorem. Consider an example. Find the remainder when x cube minus 2x square plus 6x minus 2 is divided by x minus 2. Here the dividend is x cube minus 2x square plus 6x minus 2 and the divisor is x minus 2. And the divisor is a linear polynomial. Linear polynomial means the degree of the polynomial is 1. Here the power of x is 1. x minus 2 is the divisor. It is linear. So it has only one zero. To find 0, x minus 2 equal to 0. We have to substitute that divisor is equal to 0. That means x is equal to 2. Then substitute the value of x that is 2 in p of x. We know that p of x that is the dividend is x cube minus 2x square plus 6x minus 2. There instead of x we have to put 2. So p of 2 is 2 cube minus 2 into 2 square plus 6 into 2 minus 2. We know that 2 cube is 8 minus 8 2 into 2 square that is also 8 plus 6 into 2 that is 12 minus 2 that is equal to 10. 10 is the remainder. So if we are doing long division the same answer we will get. So without long division we are using the remainder theorem. So by using remainder theorem we can find the remainder that means we have to find the value of x from the divisor. It will be a linear polynomial. So we can find out the value of x very quickly. And that value of x we have to substitute in the dividend. The dividend is p of x. There instead of x we have to substitute the value. And that answer is the remainder. So we will do one more question related to remainder theorem. Find the value of k if x minus 1 is a factor of 4x cube plus 3x square minus 4x plus k. Here x minus 1 is a factor. It is given. x minus 1 is a factor and x minus 1 is a linear polynomial. So you can find the zero of that linear polynomial. It has only one zero. That means x minus 1 equal to zero. So then x will be 1. And x minus 1 is a factor means the remainder will be 0. Remainder is 0. That means P of 1 will be 0. We know that the uh, 0 of the divisor is 1. And we have to substitute the value of x in the given polynomial. That means the dividend. Then P of 1 we will get. That P of 1 will be 0 because x minus 1 is a factor. Hope you understand it. And P of 1, P of x is 4x cube plus 3x square minus 4x plus k. That's a question. That's a dividend. There we have to substitute 1. That means 4 into 1 plus 1 cube is 1 itself. 3 into 1 square, 1 square is 1 itself, minus 4 into 1 plus k. That will be 0 because x minus 1 is a factor. Don't forget that point. If it is a factor, the remainder will be 0. So, uh, simplify it. That means 4 plus 3 minus 4 plus k equal to 0 or k equal to minus 3. So, hope you have got the concept well. Thank you.